Okay, I will talk about the future. I will try to give you a short, a very brief view to the future. And I will start with uh, one of my favorite quotes from Albert Einstein. Uh, he was a genius, I think. Uh, 100 years ago, around, he said the following, power for imagination is more important than knowledge. First, when I heard this, when I wrote my dissertation, I thought this was wrong. But after working more than 20 years now as a future researcher and sociologist, I totally agree. That means imagination and to have a specific mindset is much more important or a little bit at least important, more important than knowledge and uh, other data and so forth. So therefore, I will start uh, reminding you in what situation our world is in today because this has very much to do with our mindset or with the challenges. Of course, you all are aware about uh, social economic problems, uh, growth problems in our societies, in our economies, problems with the environment, biodiversity, um, climate change, and many other problems. And these problems are also important for us in the Western countries, but also more important even, I think, for you in the global south. So considering these challenges and these very existential civilizatory challenges, we have to reconsider our way of thinking. I think we have to change our mindset. I will show you a wonderful or two wonderful uh, quotes from the great Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, when he, under his leadership, India was freed from the colonial power Great Britain in 1947, 1948. He was asked by a rather arrogant British journalist, well, Mr. Gandhi, do you think now, since you are alone now, uh, that you will reach the level of development of uh, the United Kingdom, of Great Britain? And Mahatma Gandhi was answering, well, in order to reach its living standard, Great Britain used up half of the resources of the planet. How many planets will a land like India need? So a very smart, very wise answer, because already 50, 60 years ago, Mahatma Gandhi understood that the Western style of living is not going to make it into the future, because not everybody can live on that level. So therefore, the Western lifestyle is not uh, sustainable. It's not uh, good for the future. And at the same time, or very close to that, um, Mahatma Gandhi what, uh, was asked, what do you think about Western civilization. And Gandhi's answer, again, was very smart. As he said, I think it would be a good idea. So I think this has to be part of our mindset, that we understand that we live in a special world, we have to change. And of course, concerning all these different um, challenges I was mentioning in the beginning, um, we have to consider that People are not equal. They have different personalities, personal patterns of behavior. And one uh, French uh, future researcher, Michel Godet, uh, came up with, with the idea to uh, come up with four types of reactions towards the future, towards challenges. The first one he called passive. That's like an ostrich accepting change as it comes. The second type is reactive. It's like a firefighter waiting for the alarm to ring. The third type he called preactive. It's like an insurance agent preparing for foreseeable changes. And the fourth type is proactive. It's like a conspirator, an activist who is pushing for desirable changes. Of course, in reality, these types are very much mixed, even in single persons, in individuals. But I think it's important to keep in mind that the reactions or the possibilities of people to react are sometimes very different. Um, and of course, since you are young, dynamic people, uh, I think that you will tend and probably have to tend to the fourth type, to a proactive uh, citizen in uh, Madagascar and in the world. So, of course, as researcher, we have uh, done several studies about uh, the qualities of future-oriented mindset, about um, persons and education and development on the personal side. And we found out that there's many different 
uh, qualities or criteria which are important to learn for the future. First of all, long-term thinking. This is important because the consequences of many of our uh, behaviors, of our activities, are not uh, to be seen tomorrow or next week, maybe in one, two years, maybe in ten years for our children and grandchildren. Another point is responsibility for behavior. To become aware, to understand the effects, even the unintended effects of all our activities, or at least the important activities. And therefore, I think my suggestion is for you uh, to change the mindset, to find a new mindset which goes far beyond the Western style of living, the Western style of thinking about many uh, theories and concepts and philosophies, because we have found out that the Western lifestyle is not sustainable. So even if we are thinking about growth, about development, we have to consider the human being and the limitations of human beings. And you are probably aware that in European countries like Germany, there are more and more people with burnouts. They have reached the limit. They have to go to a clinic because they worked too hard, too much. There was too much stress. And I only wish for you that you can participate and uh, produce some s uh, smart growth, some sustainable growth, and that you can work in your country and on the global level for sustainable development. Mm -hmm.